Hey y'all, welcome. I hate vlogs, but I guess I'm becoming what I hate. My channel's getting some traction now. I wanted to let you guys know that I got another car uh, besides the M2 and of course the beautiful Ravenous 4 back here. I love the RAV4. Thing rules. Anyways, I ended up adopting the E36 that I reviewed a while back. You can click on the video in the corner here. Story is Matt needed some garage space for a new S2000 he just purchased, which we will be doing a review on because I drove it and I gotta say I love me some S2000s now, the car was, I can't wait to actually like do the video on it because it actually gets me like super, super pumped. They say that S2000s are better than Miatas and I've been Miata biased my whole time because I haven't really truly experienced the panage of an S2000. Wait, so it costs how much again? $630 to get it from the home, like from the home building. But to get it from Lowe's and install it ourselves for free, with the pre-wiring already included, it costs $200. Why would we do that? Why would we do that? Do we, are we, do we have to do all that? No. Like that bad boy right there. Yeah. Chamberlain, $149. Yeah. $700 for a garage owner. <laughs> <laughs> get this house. <laughs> Building a house is stressful. Yeah, excuse all the, the bird droppings sitting under this tree. It's been sitting here for about a week now and I'll, I'll get through that here in a moment. Oh, that vacuum leak though. Okay, let's cut this bad boy off. This car was a track beater car for the track rat degenerate group that I am part of. We're called Eurobeat Social. We just kind of focus on going out to Harris Hole and just having a good time. We call it church on Sundays. And all of us just go out there and just hang out, do some car buddy things. This was our beater car that anyone could take. In fact, Yusef one time, he misshifted and uh, Matt was sitting there and saw this thing pinged like well past the red line and it still started trucking. And we were just talking about how like super resilient this car is. And I've been just like just wailing on it just saying hey this thing's like insanely reliable it has 264,000 ish original miles which is insanity it's got the m44 in there it's a 96 so that motor is extremely reliable till this happened <laughs> It ended up overheating on the way to the track. Doing filming for Cav Z4 and this car started overheating literally right before I exited the exit for the track. And it sucks because it was doing just fine until then and I, I had it overheating at a light far before and I was like, should I turn around and get the M2? And I was like, no, no, I really, I really, really wanted to drive the E36 just because it's so much fun on the track. Not saying that the M2's not, it's just the M2's like way more serious. The E36 is just laughable on track. And I was sitting at a light getting ready to pretty much hop on the highway and I noticed that my temperature gauge was starting to climb a little bit and I was like oh shit I was sitting behind a Dodge Ram with one of those chrome bumpers and I looked at the chrome bumper and saw there was a big old pool underneath the car and I was like oh crap it's a coolant leak so kind of freaking out but I was like you know what once I get going I've got a bunch of distilled water just chilling here I'll just top it off distilled water chilling back in there. The temperature gauge did not climb over into the red. It did like get pretty damn close. It, it got like, it got, it, it was past, it was almost red. It was almost red. Anyways, I had already pretty much taken ownership of the car when that happened. Matt felt really bad. I was like, dude, don't even worry about it. Like seriously, it's not a big deal. I expect this stuff to happen. It's been a long time since I've had a project car to wrench on. I've, I haven't lifted a wrench in probably about two years. And again, I promise I will clean all this bird shit off once I get her going again, which should hopefully be sooner than later hoping that I see the heater core hoses leaking and I just have to replace the heater core hoses which are usually a pain in the ass to get to on any car I am very familiar with the heater core hoses on Miatas making me want to like murder myself hopefully that's all it is and I can just purge the coolant system and everything and she'll be running fine hopefully it's not a warped head uh, I, I don't need that right now especially since uh, trying to save for a house meanwhile I'm getting another project car again there is nothing wrong with the M2 I love this car to death it's just far more serious i just wanted something a little bit more analog as opposed to digital even though the m2 is kind of the last purest bmw driving car that we have but i mean this guy oh, it's just so simple so awesome and if the head's warped then you know what fine I'll, I'll try to figure something out and see if i need to swap in some sort of m50 m52 you know that would that would be pretty cool but hopefully the motor's fine and i can continue to save gas 
in this economy right now because this car is actually really fuel efficient if, even if you wail on it. So let's get to the hood struts. Technically not my first purchase for the car, but some genuine BMW struts. This is my, my first purchase for the car. Not the, not the Wasp killer. We have tons of those in Texas here, but yeah, the Liquid Molly, whatever. I need an oil change. I'll be replacing the struts today. Not quite a broomstick. This will do for now. Are you gonna stay? Stay for me, please don't follow me. Pittsburgh tools. You get what you get. These pliers are literally bending. I don't even know if these are Pittsburgh tools. Like, yeah, they're just bending. Oh, that just broke off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Easiest pie, I guess. I don't really know what that expression means because I've never actually tried to make a pie before. Fucking goddamn, that's a massive wasp. Did y'all see that big ass wasp just fly into here? Just Texas things. Let's snap that off quick. Damn, boy. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, there it goes. RIP headphone users, am I right? Okay. Rinse and repeat. It's got to break those tabs off, I guess. Be real aggressive with it, you know? I'm going to get DMCA'd for the damn ice cream trucks. Do, 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 do. There's nothing out there like some creepy. Yeah ice cream truck music ah, done i know this is such a simple thing to do but this is my first actual time working on a bmw never turned a wrench on a bmw it's always been jdm watch that's probably going to be like the last easy thing i do on this car i pray to the car gods this shit is super easy Green truck guy will not leave me alone oh, thank you thank you God. i saw a little gas in it this other one though oh yeah that that is Dead. Check that reservoir. There's actually a little bit in there. I don't know if you can if you can see that, but there's there's still like a decent amount of coolant in there. There's no chocolate milk in there. That's good. Again, a warped head is always a possibility on this. All right, love having a little leak. Piece of oil on the valve cover gasket. Yeah, I gotta replace that. Oh well, I guess I'll have to take off the valve cover itself, replace the gasket while I'm in there, but that should give me access back there to diagnose it. I might have to keep the valve cover off for a little bit, which is totally fine. It looks like it's it's pretty easy. A few bolts, there might be some back in there somewhere. I don't know, I'll have to use my, my mechanic feeler hands. Uh, take that guy off, PCV off, and uh, see what's up. Why do I wanna do that right now? Probably not. Do I wanna come back to it this weekend? Probably so. Anyways, uh, this is the new adopted whip. I'm pretty excited because I love E36s and uh, I've always wanted an E30 or an E36, but figured I'd have the quote unquote superior suspension in the E36, even though it weighs a little bit more. But the thing is you can, you can make these things decently lightweight, especially compared to Chonky Boy over here. Yeah. Yep, that's the new project. We'll see how this progresses over the year. Stay tuned. If you got this far, please comment, like, subscribe, all that good fun stuff. And um, I'll see you at the track. Bye.